So I just had this idea like um, 10 minutes ago and I want to make a video about it. Uh, so it's prior art and um, nobody can patent it in case somebody w could. Um, so uh, in a normal 3D printer, uh, on your X carriage, um, typically, you have a stepper motor, your extruder stepper motor, that turns a gear that pushes filament into the other end. And so you have plastic coming out the other side, and that's what makes it 3D print. Um, if you want to have a system with um, two, ex two other ends, so you can do a dual extrusion, you need to have two stepper motors, one like this and one like this with a second other end. Uh, the problem is, as you add the extruders, you get more weight, and the more weight you have, the more inertia you have, and uh, the, the slower you have to go, and the less acceleration you have to have, um, so your machine doesn't shake too much. Um, one idea I had, um, uh, and this is not just me, uh, I found a video on YouTube from somebody that did this too, um, is you use an egg shaft, hexagonal shaft, so um, the guy on YouTube used uh, a square shaft, I think. And you have a part like this, but this is just like this gear, here, yeah. except instead of having um, it attached directly to the stepper motor, what you have is you have a uh, hexagon hole in it, and it slides on the, this shaft. So it's still attached to the other end, and still attached to your X carriage, but instead of having the stepper motor turn directly the um, the gear, what you have is um, the stepper motor is at the other side and it turns um, it turns the shaft. And with the shaft turning, you have to turn the gear. It still moves left to right and it pushes filament inside the other end. Um, what this gives you is basically you don't have to move the stepper motor, so it's much more lightweight. Um, yeah. It's much more lightweight like this. Um, uh, problem I had wa was uh, I wanted to use this term for a dual extrusion or triple extrusion, whatever. And uh, then you have to have multiple shafts, so one, two, three, or uh, you have to have um, just uh, one shaft, but um, relay on each of the gears to push or pull the filament against the gear. So like uh, if you have uh, three uh, other ends, you, you have three relay and uh, each one pushes or pulls the filament against the gear. The problem with that is uh, relays are quite heavy too, so you lose part of your advantage. Um, one of the systems that exist um, for One of the systems that exist, uh, if you don't want to have a lot of weight on your um, X carriage, is instead of having the stepper motor directly here, you have the stepper motor fixed, and the other end still moves, and you have a bowden tube uh, in between the two. So the stepper motor pushes the filament inside the bowden tube, it goes all the way like this, uh, the motor doesn't move, but um, the other end moves, like this, and uh, it's quite great because uh, you don't have any weight here. The problem is uh, this acts uh, kind of like a spring, and uh, you don't get you don't uh, get e oh, uh, you don't get exactly the same uh, output here as you requested here. Um, so that's not ideal. Um, so I thought of a solution that combines the two. So basically, what you have is um, you have this with the gear here that turns with the shaft, the stepper motor is still fixed. And you have a bowden tube. And you also have a stepper motor here that pushes or pulls the filament. So um, the idea here is, so the problem if you did just like that is uh, here you have two gears and the necessary pushes, push, um, if you have two attempts, the necessary push uh, in the two attempts at the same time. But the idea here will be to use the second stepper motor to pull the filament out in one of the attempts. So you pull the filament out, meaning the, when the gear turns, it doesn't touch the filament, so it can't push it. But it still pushes the filament in the attempt in which you left the filament. 
And if you want to change the attempt, all you have to do is um, pull the filament in the attempt you use, and then use the stepper motor for the second attempt at the other end to pull the filament back in here, and then you're using a second attempt. If you want to change, you just pull again, you pull all the filament, nothing is to change the gear here, you use the stepper motor for the first attempt to push back into it, and then when you are extruding, you basically have uh, the two stepper motors synchronized, and they, t they push at the same time. So uh, what's great about this is also, yeah, so it's a bit more complex. You have to have more stepper motor drivers and stuff. But what's great is you have multiple attempts here. Um, you have, yeah, so what's great about this is you have multiple attempts here. You have, like, you can have, like, three or four, whatever. And you have very, very little weight. Because uh, the, all the stepper motors are outside. They, they don't move. They are uh, fixed. Um, uh, there's one way to simplify this even, even further. further uh, is uh, you take, instead of having one stepper motor per, per um, one fixed stepper motor per um, attempt to push into the bow and shoot, what you have is you don't you don't have any of the extra ones, you just have one stepper motor here. And uh, this is where it gets a little bit crazy. So, um, and to control this side, the fixed side, it's still on the shaft, but it doesn't move, it's still here. So you also have uh, gears here, but they don't move. And uh, so they all turn, so you have like three here and three here. And they all turn at the same time, but uh, to control it, one of these gears is going to push filament or not, you use, uh, like I explained before, you use a, a relay to push the filament against the hotel or not, to against the gear or not. And um, yeah, so basically that's the idea. You get um, you get a very lightweight system, well, um, mostly all the weight is just this small gear that's very lightweight. Um, and uh, the hotel. Um, and uh, and it's very lightweight, so you can have like uh, two, three, four, whatever you want. Um, uh, one of the problems I can foresee with this is uh, you have to pull, pull the filament entirely out of the ocean, while uh, in other systems you just pull it a little bit. So here you have to pull it entirely out of the attempt and then re-enter it entirely. But you can do that very fast because you can use a big stepper motor here uh, that's fast and strong. And uh, you can um, you can uh, just, uh, when you have pulled it all in, you just waste a bit of filament here and you clean it up on the side or something. Um, so yeah, that's the idea basically. I just wanted to like make it uh, a small video about it and and uh, make sure like nobody can patent it. And uh, I'm going to be prototyping this in the near future when I'm done with this video. Uh, okay, see you later.